Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. I'm in high sec again. I was previously in null sec and I was equipping my Bane and uh, I put it all together. I had some plans for some basic writing fits I wanted to have in the meantime, some rattlesnake and apocalypse fits I was thinking of actually today. I'm not showing you guys that. But uh, in the meantime, while I was thinking of what I wanted to do with the Bane, because I still haven't fully decided how I want to do it, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to buy a Phoenix, perhaps test out some crab sites first. Uh, I could also perhaps test out the Bane in just like a basic writing site just to give it a bit of spin. The problem is, right now when I'm playing, it seems to be a little bit like prime time. It's weekend now, and uh, there's a lot of activity, so I don't think it's the best idea to bring out that extremely expensive Tech 2 Dreadnought. So we're going to chill a little bit for now. Sorry guys, we're going to have to chill a bit for now. But something I wanted to do in the meantime was that I wanted to do some trig larvae hunting. And it was in particular a certain type of trig larvae hunting that I've only done very few times. But it has been working out really well. And that was doing the brawl style paladin. I've not got much experience with that. So that's why I wanted to gain a bit more experience with that. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to use the paladin. Because I remember it being pretty good in the way that the paladin was amazing at doing like instant damage you could say like it was in some ways it felt a bit easier or quicker i mean than the actual uh, golem so that's something that i think could be cool to do so i want to try this and i want to also see if we can perhaps maybe we'll depending on the spawn we'll see if we can warp in a little bit of distance because that is also something that i think that could be an idea to maybe perhaps help us a little bit reduce the strain on the tank if we warp in a little bit a little bit of a distance then we maybe won't have to go and uh, think about as much tanking because everything will take a little bit of a time to get to us. So I'm going to go my notepad here. Go in this route I've got. Come on. And then we will optimize the route. There we go. Let's go. Uh, I don't think we had a reactive armor hard on this fit actually. We don't. Do we not have one? No, it didn't actually, because it seemed to be, for some reason, better. It was better just to go with the raw resists. Damage control is something that gives us a lot of buffer, but I was thinking actually maybe a reactive armor hunter could perhaps be better in terms of the damage control for the resists for our armor. Could be an idea. Let's see here, reactive armor hardener. 81 in the kinetic. What do we get here with damage control? And we also get 81, 81 here. Hmm. Okay, so it's not that big. And Garista's Kestrel, some of the diamond rats. I know that some people in wormholes use this sign as like a wormhole designation. The diamond sign. The wormhole rats. They're not the wormhole rats. Ooh, seems like some ganking has been occurring in Moval Island. Look at all those red guys. We need to be a little bit careful. T4 Abyssal Gila Kill seems to have occurred in the system. <laughs> can minimize the intel. I don't need to have the intel channel open now that I'm in high psych. The Triglav infilt on there we go. Don't see anything here. Keep an eye on the cosmic signatures as well. Hmm, doesn't seem to be anything here. I'll just warp to a nearby celestial and then walk back to the gate. Nothing in here. We just have to these kind of bit on the way towards Kmon. Maybe we can find something there. Let's see, the movable Island has something in 23 minutes ago. I didn't manage to see any there, but we can check that out next because it doesn't seem like we've got really much going on here. So we'll move to there after these systems in the Triglavian Tracker. The thing with Mulva Island is that we need to be a little bit careful there. That we did see some gankers in there before. Okay, now we're here, but oh, look at that. A lot of red people in the system from safety. Ugh, it does not look pretty, uh, like a pretty nice system to do these in. Hmm. Silly gankers. Silly gankers. Annoying. Let's swap to some of these players to see if we can get a quick fleet in. Otherwise, it's a bit unfortunate. I mean, it's not a good idea, I think, to tree larvae hunting in this kind of system because they're all going to scramble like oh you know with this here like oh paladin let's go let's go and then they scan them down and then i'm just they all jump to me at once with their probably catalysts and then boom i'm dead i mean i've got over 100k ehp but 
Say you have a catalyst, each catalyst maybe does six, 700 DPS, let's say 600 DPS. Say you have 10, 6k DPS, and I have 100k HP. Take me 20 seconds, and then they've killed me. Now, maybe I'll be able to survive that time, but not guarantee, nothing guarantees that, really. Let's check here, where are they? Something is going on over here. Let's see which one it is. Oh, 0 0.7. Is it the 0 0.8 one? This one over here. Now we can walk maybe at 20 kilometers. Something like that. Let's see what happened in this system before. In Ezekiel. Okay, so it seems like these are more hunting abyssal gankers. But I mean doesn't necessarily have to be the only kinds of targets they're looking for. Okay, let's keep an eye here and put the descan filters on so we can look a bit better what's going on here. It's good to use that Triglavian Hunter because it can help you a lot to see what is going on. Oh, they've got combat scanner probes and everything. Let's just quickly take out these guys and then we can just uh, run out. Oh, you got the clock on? Why have we got the clocking device on? Don't want that on. I guess it shortens the lock time. Put offline like that. Destroyed. Oh, this is really fast. Felt a lot faster than the golem, actually. I think it maybe has to do with our range. It's the optimal range one on. I think this is also good in terms of the tracking ability because there were a little bit of range here then it enables us to get a little bit better transversal on the small stuff. Oof, easy. It's always good to be able to take out the small stuff. But if it gets close, because stuff will I think eventually get under our guns. Sort by distance, have the general tab on. Oh, this feels really great, actually. I forgot how good this Sepalin felt. Take out this guy here. Destroyed. What have we got here? Anything open? I thought I had something open. There we go. Now for this one. You know, the drones out just a little bit extra, you know. Oh, there's a lot of NPCs here. Let's deploy that MTU. You take out that ghost, he's causing problems here. Oh, we one shot that Kikimura. It's great. Ah, oh, it's just outside there, just outside that. Uh. Let's scan the web ray, that's annoying. I think we might need some of the tracking speed scripts now because I feel like that's the main issue here. If you don't have the clocking device, I could have the salvage instead of the clocking device. That would be great in terms of getting extra salvaging ability. Get through these very quickly. Lots of combat scanner probes on the window here. Might regret it later. I'm just actually going to be fast here. Get rid of these waves. <laughs> We've got the Nosferatu going on over there. So we're cap stable. Oh, there's someone here. Let's get out of here. We're going to have to take out everything that is anchoring. Everything on these anchoring guys. Let's align to that citadel. Anything that's anchoring over here? And then warp out of here, please. Warp, please. Warp, warp, warp. Did not want to have any ganks going on. Got someone who warps in like that. Feel like he could be some scanner or something like that. We got our MTU in. That's great. But we at least were able to take out the pardon for 
cool ride here. I want to do some more of this because that felt really smooth compared to the golem. I felt like we were actually a bit faster. <laughs> but we managed to get through that without getting ganked. That was pretty cool. But we managed to get through that. That was no problem. Just had to quickly hum Bastion and then that was it. It's unfortunate because they used to have it that the Bastion cycle was 30 seconds, now it's 60 seconds. So it takes a little bit longer to get on Bastion, but just the way it is. Dock up here. Uh, there we go. We're safe at last. Okay, so that was a bit of Triglavian hunting in the Paladin. We're going to do more of this, but really impressed with how powerful this ship is. Amazing, absolutely amazing ship. We're going to have to maybe test a little bit, experimenting different ranges, because I felt like if we were a little bit of range, we could take out those... Uh, Damavix very quickly by uh, uh, changing the way uh, you get a bit better transversal. And I don't know, I think this thing might be causing problems with this cloaking device. We have the salvager here. We could even have like an auto target or some sensor boost now that's going to take a lot of space in the mid. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's enough for now. We're going to see you guys later in the battle. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.